Later tonight, the House of Representatives is expected to approve a $900 billion COVID relief bill with the Senate following right after. As political editor John Delano reports, Congressman Mike Doyle says the relief bill is a good start, but doesn't go as far as he would like. We passed the bill six months ago uh, that would have provided comprehensive funding uh, for Western Pennsylvania, for state and local governments, uh, and, and taking care of all the other needs out there. Unfortunately, Senate Republicans just weren't having it. Congressman Doyle says to get Republican votes, Democrats had to trim their bill from $3 trillion to under $1 trillion. We negotiated the best package we could. It has some very good elements for Western Pennsylvania. Most individuals will get a one-time stimulus payment in the next few weeks. $600, uh, the income limit is $75,000 or $150,000 for joint uh, returns. Uh, dependents are eligible for $600 also. That's $2,400 for a family of four. Also back is a $300 a week additional federal unemployment benefit through early March. You know, a lot of people are behind on their mortgage and their rent. Uh, this extra $300 a week is going to be something that will help people because uh, that program ended in July. For the one third of Pennsylvanians who rent, a new form of rental assistance, unlike the last one, when states gobbled up the money when they missed deadlines. We'd like to see this actually get run down at the local level, at the county uh, or city level. Doyle says Congress is also extending the eviction moratorium until the end of January. Another popular program being extended, the PPP or Payroll Protection Plan that gives grants to businesses that keep their employees on the payroll. We have now specifically targeted small mom and pop businesses and minority businesses. One sector that Doyle feels is getting shortchanged, local restaurants. To help some of these restaurants be held harmless until the vaccine's more widely distributed, I would have liked to have seen that. John Delano, KDKA News.